I remember well when the idea was born, the Giga Press. I was worried and thought about how it would be possible to create the biggest of the big machines, heavier than a plane, longer than a boat, and at least as tall as a two-story building. We would soon be producing the largest die-casting machine in history as a world's first. The concern for everyone was the expectation or the possibility that we could not miss. The idea that once again, Idra was the mother of all presses. This was bound to make a difference for a very important and global customer. Immediately after the first thoughts of the project, the worry turned into enthusiasm. The doubts and anxieties replaced by the awareness of being able to count on a team of capable collaborators, trained through many years of history, driven and supported by a formidable project. We realized that we didn't have to do anything other than what we already knew how to do best, which was our job, just a little bit bigger. To make it all work, first and foremost, we had to believe in the project and maintain constant and unrelenting attention to dimensional checks of parts to make sure that each component was made exactly to the designer's intention. We had to make the most of the expertise and professionalism of our pipe fitters who, with patience, dedication and attention to detail, would work on the new models. We always had to think positively, always big, even when in reality it was necessary to use a precision in tenths and thousandths of millimeter for assembly coupling. We had to be careful when assembling hydraulic components and we had to master our emotions during the most dangerous stages of assembly. We knew we had to deal with logistical, organizational and handling problems with the heaviest components, but after the first stages, ambition and pride helped us to think big, to think that our Gigapress was no longer just a computer design project, but a dream, a reality come true on the shop floor of Idra. E